The Point Conference is a partnership between Jobs for Humanity and the Department of Rehabilitation in California. It's expected to be keynoted by Mayor London Breed. We'll have the actual confirmation just two weeks before, but so far that's the indication. It'll take place on February 28th, and we're going to be inviting 250 recruiters in the Bay Area, 250 job seekers, and 100 community organization, the organizations. The whole point is for them all to properly network in an immersive experience and for these conversations to expand beyond the confines of that day. So here's the program that we're putting together. Mayor Breed sharing the vision of San Francisco once we all unite as recruiters, job seekers, community organizations, what's our potential, what's their vision? Followed by Dr. Stephen Jones, who is the first African-American ordained monk in Thailand, exceptional orator, who's gonna give us a 30 to 45 minute session on inclusive leadership as a skill set. Then we're going to invite our top 10, 12 community organizations in the Bay Area to come and introduce themselves for three minutes each. One, for example, works with the homeless and provides shelter. One works with employers in order to offer tax credits. One works with um, job seekers and employers in, in order to give upskilling or language support. One offers legal support, and so, so on and so forth. After that, we'll break for lunch, but each organization is going to have a table at lunch so that whoever is interested in meeting them and having a deeper connection with them for the ensuing hour during lunch can have a much deeper co conversation there. I'm going to encourage everyone to bring lots of business cards. I know it's old school, but that's the whole point of them to continue the conversation after the conference is over. After that, I'll give a master class in diversity hiring. Basically, it's uh, how to create an inclusive hiring process for people from all walks of life, be they blind, neurodivergent, single moms, ethnic minorities, returning citizens. How do you create an inclusive interview process? How do you create uh, an inclusive onboarding and access what are the reasonable accommodations that they may need um, and how do you onboard inclusively we've been working on this training for a couple of years uh, and then we're going to follow it up actually with a session coming in right here with a step to the line is still to be confirmed with Catherine Hoke um, she's transformed the prison system in the, in the United States um, and I actually volunteered in prisons with her for years at Pelican Bay State Prison we're going to do an exercise called step to the line where we're going to have all 250 recruiters, 250 job seekers um, in a line, one-on-one -on -one matching where there's going to be you know, eye contact and pairing. And then Kat is going to mention phrases like, I grew up with both my parents and my household. If it's true for you, step forward, both step forward, else one steps back or both step back. Um, I lost one of my parents due to gang violence or drug violence or something. And then or my parents paid for me to go to school. And you start to see the privilege and you get to understand who's in front of you. We'll follow that up with one-on-one -on -one coaching between job seekers and um, recruiters in order to, um, for job seekers to share their stories properly and really build a relationship. And with their resumes, recruiters will give feedback, but that's gonna be one of four sessions. The upcoming three sessions will happen outside of the conference where, um, where the recruiters are going to open up their network to help these job seekers find work um, and then help them with interviews, so on and so forth. We've done this before. Uh, we did this in a pilot with uh, 20 recruiters at Booking.com, 21 recruiters, paired them with 42 Ukrainian refugees. Among the 42, 13 got jobs and 22 more got interviews, so it was super successful. We'd love to do it again. Then we're going to close it with um, what success looks like with Ken Oliver, uh, Rebecca Carr, and most likely aiming to get the CEO at Checker. So Checker is a unicorn with about four or five billion dollars. Shut up real quick, but what people don't know is that 5% of the workforce are returning citizens and in all areas of the business and have really grown it properly. So this is to show that this can happen and it can be successful by an org company that's right next to you. So that's the day's uh, worth of content and then afterwards networking for continuing conversations and relationships, all on February 28th.